Glenn, thank you. Now, a brother and sister have been killed as someone fired dozens of bullets into their home in a drive-by shooting. Happened on Old Street in Stone Mountain, and Channel 2's Tom Regan's there live today. Tom, the mother was in the house when this all happened. That's right, Justin, and she tells me whoever was behind this likely had an automatic weapon. More than 30 shots fired into this house on Monday night, leaving bullet holes in walls, through windows. Some even hit the solar panels on the roof. The grieving mom this afternoon asking who did this and why. My house is riddled up with bullets. I heard a bunch of gunshots, and I seen the light of the gunshots. Valerie Jones told me it sounded like a machine gun. She ran from her room to the living room Monday night, where her adult children, Shantaria and Daryl Willis, were watching TV. I saw my son laying on the ground, and so I was checked him. I was checking his pulse and asked my daughter, was he okay? I mean, meaning, what happened? And so, but she couldn't talk to me because she was laying on the ground as well. She says bullets fired through the wall and a window struck her children. Her daughter died on the scene, her son on the way to the hospital. Who, do, who would do this? I have no idea. I don't know. I mean, does your son or daughter have enemies or anything? Not that I know of. These murders are senseless. My children were sitting in their home looking at TV. They did not expect to die that night. She says her daughter, who had a warehouse job, leaves behind two children, her son, an electrician, yet to become a father. I would never have my grandchildren. My son hadn't, 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 hadn't had a child yet. I would never know a child from him. She says she hopes police soon find who fired the bullets into her home, killing her precious children. The violence, people against people, black against black, humans against humans, that's not right and in no sense it's senseless well at this point police don't have any suspects nor a motive a gofundme page has been set up by the family to help with funeral expenses you can find out more on how to donate at wsbtv.com live in stone mountain in DeKalb county tom regan channel 2 action news